Gaffer, we're in FA Cup action against Plymouth this weekend and of course it's a chance to keep that momentum going that we've, that we've gathered. I've been feeling a bit down this week. A bit down. Cup fever. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Listen, it's, it's a great opportunity, it's another game. Uh, we enjoy going through the processes, working on a training pitch. Uh, you know, it's a big game, it's a big game for Plymouth, it's a big game for us. We're representing Bolton and uh, my stay is it's special, you know, and we're ambitious and we're planning to be successful. And we, we, we treat this game with massive respect, massive respect, and uh, so it should be. The FA Cup's a special, special tournament. Uh, Cup room start somewhere, you know, round one, perfect guy at home, and let's see where it takes us. What's this week been like on the training ground? Because I know the weather's been pretty poor all week, but I'm guessing it's still been a place with a lot of positive energy. Positive energy, the training facilities are brilliant, the pitches are, are, are incredible, the ground staff, you know, they need a pat on the back, you know, they're coming smiling every day. Uh, again, it's important that you smile, you've got to transmit energy enthusiasm for the work that you do you've got to be proud about the work that you do and the ground staff are they're proud of them pitches they're proud of uh, the personal well-being in and around the training facility you know and we're really pleased with the product that we're getting from the players they're all in you know everybody has bad days but you can't have uh, a no smile day you know we can't have a a bad effort day, you know, we have bad days, sometimes it doesn't quite work for us, but you've still got to smile, you've still got to have enthusiasm, you've still got to work hard, you know, and uh, eventually, you know, things break for the better, uh, if, if you have those, those values, those demands on yourself, and then you just transmit that energy to the next teammate, and uh, it's like a game of TIG really, isn't it? you're passing on positive energy everywhere. What are your thoughts on the FA Cup? Is it still as magical a competition as it ever has been? Yes, it is for me. It always has been, but I, I'm not a Premier League manager who, you know, is in Europe, for example, or is belly aching about playing. I used to play 38 games a season, you know, constantly moaning about playing Saturday, Tuesday, maybe Thursday sometimes. They play on a Monday sometimes. You know, not being able to go to Dubai for a week's warm weather training. You know, so the FA Cup special. You know, we've got Premier League managers are moaning about replays, penalty shootouts, you know, VAR, wow, they've become so spoiled, haven't they? You know, uh, it's football. I think they've got short memories, you know. What happened to just uh, playing 46 to 60 to 65 games a season? You know, without I uh, contesting the reasons why, I think the FA Cup is special, special. Uh, and like I said, every journey starts with a roll of a ball in the FA Cup, and the ball's going to start rolling for us in earnest on Saturday. Looking at the weekend's opposition, Plymouth Argyle, it's a club that you're relatively familiar with. What are you expecting from Ryan Lowe and his team coming up here this weekend? Uh, good football side, hard working. A, a team or a, and a club in transition. You know, they recruited a lot of players in the summer, a new management team. So they're all. Know, integrating with one another uh, and I think there'll be steadily, steadily improvements over the course of the season. I expect them to be in the promotion playoff places at the end of the season, either playoffs or automatic. But there's teams in League 2 who have been established doing it for a number of years now. If you look at uh, Newport, you look at Exeter, you look at Crewe for example, you know, Forest Green, they're getting established now and uh, I think that's where Ryan Law you know, will improve over the course of the season. It was of course great to, to welcome back Thibaut Linden and Jake Wright last weekend. How much of a boost was it to have them back in the team, particularly just a few days after losing Alec Crawford? It's very important. Uh, we, we, we want them all fit. We want to make uh, it even more robust the squad, even more uh, demanding, even more competitive. Uh, and you need players to be fit. Uh, for positions at stake to be competitive. But the lads are doing everything they can. The, their attitude towards winning and the environment that we're trying to create is improving every day and they're reinforcing it. And uh, they've got a belief mechanism that uh, they know the process that we're going through are right. 
and they're enjoying the football and they're embracing the demands that the game brings whether it's on a 90 minute uh, match day, the course of training and then over the course of the next 31 games plus FA Cup games plus leasing.com games hopefully. Has the injury situation changed in the last week or so or perhaps does this weekend act as you know, a welcome sort of resting period for some players that might perhaps need it? Uh, it's always improving, the, the players are getting better, um, so they're recovering, they're working harder, then they're recovering again, they're improving on the conditions, so the processes are there for uh, you know, Matty Paris and his team to go through with the players and then when they're on the training pitch they're mine again, so then they become active in the processes of trying to get into the team. Uh, we've had nobody come back onto the training pitch this week. Uh, you know, in preparation for the Plymouth game, but we're mindful of the fact that we've got a big game coming up against MK Dons, you know, which gives us an opportunity to integrate maybe two or three before that game back into the training environment. Another game, and of course, another game that every single person associated with the club wants us to wants us to win and get through to the second round. What benefits could an FA Cup run bring? There's obviously monetary benefits. There's media benefits, the more successful you are. Uh, uh, you can expose what we're doing at this football club and how good it is. Uh, the big game mentality, uh, you know, and it's just, it's good to be successful. And the further you go in the FA Cup, the more successful you can be. But it's a situation that, you know, it doesn't affect the league and it can be an inspiration for the players to to taste a different competition uh, that you've not affected before like I've been affected by you know uh, the FL can't deduct you know three points off of you know in an FA Cup competition uh, you know so it's a great competition for us it's a competition that we're looking forward to uh, and the FA Cup competition is still alive and kicking